Hello everybody. Um, so today I'm going to make a very particular video. I got told that on my last video I was kind of boring and out of it. So I brought the person who um, told me I was boring with me onto this video. No. Since they no. want... <laughs> no, we ain't doing it like this. I can cut this part out. No, I... I can still post this as its own little mini video. I'm just, just I'm getting flashbacks to that fucking TikTok video. It was that terrible. I was going like this half the time and I was apparently talking extremely monotone. So today we're going to be super excited. We're going to be excited. We're not going to be monotone. We're going to be loud and we're going to be full of energy while talking about this because that's how you get a point across. But this is not the only way I'm going to do it since a lot since I continuously get banned online or pushed down into algorithm or zeroed out or this tweet is unavailable or um, other such issues across multiple types of media sites yes they they do not like the things I have to say so what is it you have to say lots of things but the one thing that I am going to focus on today is particularly seeds and biopiracy and these corporations who are trying to everyone over with it. <laughs> um, so Preston, he's the one who um, ultimately showed me this documentary which only feeds into my insanity even more and uh, makes me go down into the bottomless loophole that keeps going and going and going. So, but this, this is it. I know this is what's coming in the future and no. Nope. I'm gonna focus on this one. It really, it really, from all the things that I've written, that's the one thing that catches my attention more than anything and mm-mm. So, what is viral piracy, Preston? Can you explain it to me? Vaguely. Vaguely explain it to me in a simple form so everyone understands. Let's say we have a medical plant. A plant that is really good for coughs, for example. Can it be any plant or does it have to be a medical plant? Uh, no, it can be any plant. Okay. Any plant that grows, but usually plants that have seeds. And do all plants have seeds? Uh, no, not all plants have seeds. <laughs> so the ones that don't have seeds, what do they have? Mm, I mean, like bamboo shoots off and stuff. I'm not sure if it has seeds, but there's mm. plenty. There's plenty of examples of plants that don't have, like mushrooms. You know, fungus. Like oh, that so can, they have you can, spores, like spores in that you case. Can, if it's not seeds, it's spores. Yes. Or but, and if it ain't spores, then it's little, you know, lichens and slime molds and whatever else may grow out in nature. But if it's... Alright, so you have a plant and it's good for coughs. You would then... What would you then do? You would then take that plant and you would genetically modify it by just a little bit. So do you need a lab to genetically modify a plant? I mean, I, I couldn't imagine you would necessarily need one if you knew what you was doing. So you could just splice two plants together, for example, and it would genetically modify it for some reason. Uh, yeah. It would naturally happen in nature also, not corporations doing this. This would naturally happen, correct? Yeah, um, uh, for example, a wasp can sting a leaf and cause it to mutate. So it would and grow this mold and then the larvae yeah, so eat you, it. So what, what would stop you from taking a, like a wasp and just hold it straight up to the plant and sting it a couple times and say this is my genetically modified plant yeah but then you get a patent on that plant and suddenly even though the wasp really did it so you would get a patent on that plant and then reintroduce the seeds out into the wild and then every time somebody tries to use the plant suddenly it's illegal because you have a patent on it Ah, even though the plant came from the wild and even what yep. a, what about what about if I traditionally as a country know 
um, certain, you know, like the neem oil, for example, from the tree, you know? See, that's, that's where it gets a little iffy, it's certain, but that's only, uh, domestic, or Ancient remedies, one could call it, that really work, and these corporations seem to be, um, taking these away from the people, then ripping up all the plants within their society, controlling if they can get any seeds or not, um, so only they may profit from it. Yep, mm. only these corporations, so it's taking it away from everyone else. This is not okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is not okay. I mean, there's a million examples of it. A good one would be, you know, cigarettes, tobacco, coffee. Think of, think of all the different examples. Food. So now imagine what they could do with the food supply, which they're already trying to mess with slightly. And what, why, do, why do we choose to talk about this now, even though it's not a full-blown thing around the world yet? Because it's coming, and because I've noticed something really interesting the other day. And it was the fact that um, there's like 29 states right now who have certain um, seed bank laws. And these seed bank laws prevent, you know, regular people from um, having seeds if they have a seed bank it usually gets see, uh, seized eventually from them um, if they have one like privately or something and someone figures it out like it's messed up it's not okay you can't just be taking seeds because seeds as uh, is it Prince Charles or is he now King King Charles and his little national what is it particularly called let me look up the exact name real quick Let's be specific. <laughs> so, um, at this time, this was Prince Charles in 2002, but he's now, I guess, King Charles. But, man, supposedly, huh? Uh, managed by a Q and the Royal Botanical Gardens. Um, it contains the Millennium Seed Bank in the United Kingdom. And, um, it has been participating in conserving these seeds since 2002 and um, King Charles has a big part to play in this and um, he describes it actually on their website or um, that would be the source um, is q.org um, at least in 2016 um, Prince Charles played a large role in opening the seed bank and stated that it is a gold reserve he, um, where life itself is stored. So, the egg of life are seeds. They truly are. You know? They are worth gold. Seeds. They contain all the genes. And, uh, all the different things. That's not even a fair comparison to make. What? Saying that seeds are worth gold. Yeah, it is seeds. pretty... Especially if you have the last of them, could be worth so much more than gold. Imagine if you had the last opium seeds in the world. Imagine if you had the last of the ingredients to make some penicillin. Um, it definitely is very questionable, and I question every last person, every last individual of the government, every last individual of this world, just if you're a regular human. Why are you going along with this? Why do you support a government who's going to take away these precious seeds? It's it's not okay. They literally, you know what they want to do? What is that company again? That German company. It's a three-letter word. I can't remember. Yeah, I have it somewhere. So there is this um, German um, corporation. It is called BASF. That is correct. Yeah, and it owns, like... 90% of like all the seed rights patents these patents which is what the problem is they're trying to patent these seeds so they can make medications pharmaceuticals out of it and we don't trust the pharmaceutical companies we don't trust these oil companies we don't trust all these companies that are working together they're destroying this earth they are literally Ripping up all these plants, taking them for themselves, making laws on these seeds and plants that then when you technically 
may or may not in the future be allowed to grow them it'll have to be in a specific way and i also have a whole like legal thing that goes through that that is written this man it's like 20 or 30 pages that i read the other day and um it states little details like that within it too and um the problem with this company is that because they own all these patents they because this company owns all these patents um they want to they're having issues with how are we going to divide the um plants that might have benefits found within the ocean right so the middle of the ocean is unclaimed right um if you are on a coastal region um up to 12 nautical miles from like you know the land into the ocean is yours you know like that's considered part of your territory or ocean part and um from that point forward it goes up to 200 miles where you apparently from the shore into the ocean where you can then harvest stuff from right but it doesn't belong to you and um you know that includes mining or blah 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 animals plants fishing who knows you know and um <clears throat> and uh the center essentially anything past that is unclaimed territory within the ocean um by the way i do claim all this territory <laughs> the land below the ocean the land in the or the water the fluid water that is getting held by this land and anything above it in the sky and any land type things within it may it be an island or not that is within this unclaimed territory and I'm just gonna go ahead and claim all the unclaimed parts of the land too while I'm at it because I want to protect them not destroy them and um, these companies since they own all these patents are gonna go and um, harvest all these seed plants and I just want to point out that these seed plants that these plants in the ocean and these algae produce more oxygen for earth that we as humans breathe than anything else on this planet any forest anything it's all like most of it coming from the ocean and if you're gonna trust these same corporations that cause oil spills and um, mine the land dry and um, whatever else all these evil corporations do there's plenty of them all kinds of sectors everything from this to that Boeing being one of the largest apparently and polluting the air and environment and um, a lot of bio uh, tech companies are really bad at it too, you know, tech and all that stuff. Plastic, 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 plastic. And, um, yeah. Have you ever thought about that these corporations might be polluting the earth on purpose and that's why they're not banning straws? That's why they're not getting rid of the plastic? Because they want the ocean to get so disgusting because they know nobody cares? that they can then just harvest all the um, plants and animals and stuff in a controlled fashion. That they can harvest all the plants and animals in a controlled fashion and then guess what? One day there's not gonna be anything left because they're greedy. They don't ever stop, they don't even stop now. And uh, when there's no oxygen left and the soil is all depleted because you keep cutting down the woods and now you're going to harvest all the, the corals already disappearing you want to you want to replace it with these artificial environments artificially grown in a lab it was already here you just want control of it all it's a devil in disguise my guys <laughs> But whatever, keep worshipping him, because that's what you guys are doing, but it's whatever, right?
it is what it is. And yep, that's going to deplete the oxygen. I literally have someone on my Facebook right now that years ago made an oxygen group. Just wait until you start by having to buy oxygen because there's not enough air and everything gets hotter because there's no more trees. You know, that's why global warming. The trees, the trees keep everything cool. You guys are making it hot here themselves and guess what? They don't filter the air and you build more corporations and stupid restaurants. <laughs> Getting rid of that farmland and all those trees that then don't filter the air. Might as well be smoking a cigarette. Even if you don't, because that's what you're choosing. It's um it's terrible. It's absolutely terrible. Um but this company right here literally um is part of one of these companies that's um number one if somebody is in a country where they have special plants like in the rainforest and they have like traditional medicine or remedies that they know, they steal this remedy and then commercialize it, make money from it, don't give the people any money. This is usually in poor countries or communities that they just completely just mine apart and cut down all the trees. It's just, it's terrible. It's not going to stop. People are greedy. That is made clear we live in a plastic fake world and these greedy people will not stop. There is no reason for them to stop. They're living the best life. Literally, they truly are, and they're around all these plants and stuff, so they don't see it. They they will not see it, and it is up to everyone else to see it and realize what they are doing and that they should not ever have such a control, ever. You don't give control to someone. How can you trust someone if they That's can't even trust themselves? Point. Yeah, you can't trust someone if you can't. Most people don't even trust the human next to them. Most people truly honestly don't. If they're honest with themselves, you know, people are nice, yes. But do you trust them honestly with your life? You'd probably say no. So why do you trust them? If you can't you even shouldn't. trust yourself, if you don't trust yourself, do you trust yourself? Mm. No. Why don't you trust yourself? Because I smoke cigarettes. Because you smoke cigarettes? You know you shouldn't, but you do anyway. And we already know how I feel about that. Yeah. Oh, how do you feel about that, Preston? You should mention it. Let's really mention it. Alright. Cigarettes. Oh, yes, They're Preston. chemically engineered against you. Oh, really? And how so, Preston? You ever heard of scalpel mean? <laughs> I sure have. But others may have not. So, All right. explain them to them. What the, does the scalpel do? It is called gemsum weed. It's a... A little spiky ball plant that poisons the absolute shit out of you. Been seeing it a lot on Reddit. And one of the most notable things about it is it causes vivid hallucinations, particularly phantom hallucinations. Meaning, throughout history, everyone who's ever accidentally consumed this plant reports that they were smoking tobacco. Or could be could be marijuana, whatever is culturally relevant at the time in your area that you smoke. You will have a a vivid hallucination because, like an idiot, I ingested this plant when I was little and got hospitalized immediately. Hallucinated worse than anything I've ever experienced. It was terrible. But <laughs> one notable thing was that I kept smoking cigarettes in the hospital, even though. I was in a hospital. I had no cigarettes on me. And it's it's a side effect of it activating your nicotine receptors. People hallucinate even if they've never smoked a cigarette a day in their life. That's the scopolamine inside of this gemsum. Now what, what do you think if I were to tell you Marlboro puts that same ingredient in their cigarettes? can't stop smoking these cigarettes. Y'all are wrong for that one. Why can't I stop smoking these cigarettes? <laughs> oh, fuck. My God. I've tried. What is also interesting about the scopamine, there's this advice, um, 
there's this Vice documentary. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen it. It's an older one. It's about like a tree. Um, and uh, it's like down into South America, like Mexico region. And um, there, this tree has these pretty like trumpet-like flowers. They're like really white. They smell really, really strong. And um, you can make this drug. They call it the world's most dangerous drug. And um, um, it is actually pure scopamine. This uh, this whole entire tree produces nothing but the scopamine. Oh yeah, the little. Yep, and it makes you forget. The dust you blow you on blow people. You blow it in people, and then they forget, and they'll rob a bank for you or do this or that. Yeah, it zombifies you. Yep, and we have we think that they're putting. Jeffrey Dahmer would have been a fan of that shit. Yeah. <laughs> It, scopamine is poison. While it makes you trip, everything that makes you trip and hallucinogenic is also, in a sense, a poison. Understand poisons. Poisons can be good and bad. Poisons can heal you. Poisons can activate certain um, killer cells within your body um, as an immune response of trying to get rid of the poison and then thus result in, you know, cures, one could say. This, the dosage, is unknown, and it might depend from person to person, you know? And if you're taking anything else or stuff, because other, you know, chemicals may react or not react with the scopamine molecule. Always be aware of the chemistry behind everything. That's, that's, that's just the honest truth, and, uh... That should be the takeaway from this video. Mm-hmm. Just, no, we're talking about plant patterns. <laughs> See how easy it is to get distracted. But it all goes along hand in hand. It really does. It's hand in hand because the cigarette or things, they're abusing it. Like, no. And then what, the cigarette representative, that was really interesting. He came up to me the other day. And, uh, and uh, he said, uh, yeah. Just tobacco and water. Sounds pretty good, right? Full of that American spirit. Maybe my name is Mr. Winston. I'm not so sure. Right? Tobacco and water. Sounds great. Truly a ge ingenious cigarette design. But then, as he pointed out to me, what type of water do they use? It never mentions, is the water dirty? Is it clean? Is it the heavy metal nasty water? I don't know. Or How is it a tincture good? of scopolamine and various other chemical compounds? Exactly. Good, good little uh, observation there. Just be aware. Marketing is just going to try to fool you. Remember that the most glamorous people on top leading everybody or or the ones you don't hear about who control the world always remember they're the biggest scam artists right and the biggest scam artist would appear like the greatest person they're probably very charming the destroying of the environment the earth and not caring but they make it appear like they're caring like I said in my little comment it's like the government itself is like being in a relationship full of red flags where you're getting gaslit continuously. And you just can't stop. You're complaining about surveillance? Well, guess what? You're literally buying it with your own money. You're buying these surveillance devices and installing them in your home with your own money. <laughs> that within itself is just a mind fuck. Uh, I'm mm. telling you them red flags so the question is why does nobody leave their abusive boyfriends their red flag girlfriends I don't know man what is it you want <laughs> um, so there's actually this uh, thing that I just remembered um, so the other day I got this um, oriental grass and um, I was just you know I was looking it up online and um, I just typed it in just to, you know, read a little bit more about it. And um, 
the moment I typed it in, these news stories came up about the same oriental grass, you know, growing in another state, you know, like, I forgot which particular state it was, it was towards, like, the west, like, was it, like, Arizona, or, it wasn't Arizona, it was one in the, the desert, like, type of region. I'm not exactly sure which state it was, but it was one of these states. What about this area? But, um, whatever the state was that had this, uh, these, this oriental grass, you know, just growing, people had it in their yards, that's just what was growing there in this desert-like area or whatever. Um, the government there, like the local government there, um, is literally about to pay, starting in 2023, it's already kind of starting now, but in 2023 it's really gonna start hitting off, they said, um, to pay homeowners who have, you know, this grass growing on their land to rip it up. Please don't do that. Please, please don't. If you're a homeowner, don't. Don't accept this money. Do not, because that is just all <coughs> part of it. That and should be a red flag right there. That is a red flag within itself. You're, they're going to get rid of all of this grass. You're not going to have any more. It's just like them eradicating those certain other plants. And particularly, apparently, this, like, oriental gra grass, when I looked it up, you know, like the medical benefits and blah, 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 said it was good against thrombosis, or what is it called? Those, like, blood... Thrombosis. Yeah. And um, breathing. Breathing. To help like with breathing and lung 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 issues and um i just find that really um strange and that's gonna mess up the soil i don't know what their plan is there but they have a really bad agenda going on there they're gonna try to take it away they're they're doing that it this does not have a good outcome in the way way future it's just them trying to slowly chip away at the block to restrict everything and it's little steps like that they take like, oh, we're going to make this one little law right here and pay these people off over here and do this right here. But when you add it all together, when you add it all together, it adds up to the bigger picture. And that's not a good thing. Do not let them do that. It's going to mess up the soil environment because it's a, it's a natural environment. It's going to become dry like them. Have you ever heard of, like, the dust ball and stuff? I don't know what they're planning on planting in its place, but there's nothing good coming out of that. Just watch out. Watch out. And any states that have these laws they think they're making about... Like, taking away seeds? Like, you're tripping. Like, whoever you are, you're truly, like, loony. You're loony, and you're tripping. And, and... You're evil. You're, you're absolutely the definition of evil. Keep doing what you're doing. Keep doing what you're doing. You're messing with things you guys shouldn't be messing with. Something I would also really like to um, talk about that I completely forgot to mention is um, CBD. Um, they have this um, thing called CBD. Let me um, look at it real quick. I have it like screenshotted, so just one moment. <laughs> so whatever this GMO stuff is, has to do with something called, um, CBD is, um, really the convention on biological diversity. Like, it's like this group or something, and they make, it's this group or something, and they make all these, like, rules, and they, like, mess with this stuff, apparently. And the reason I say that this... Okay, so the other day, the reason I'm suddenly so interested in this, and I find this highly suspicious, and everything is just really weird about this, is the fact that, okay, 
in the United States, they um, decriminalized, I mean, they, I mean, they made marijuana illegal, you know, like a while back. And then just now here in the last like 10, 20 years have slowly started, you know, making it either recreationally legal or, um, you know, medically legal. And so this sucks. I want you to know marijuana is great. Marijuana is a plant. I love plants. I love marijuana. And so I I'll even I'll even show you my license plate while I'm at it to just prove how much I truly love marijuana which also has taken me down this path, which makes me very, very sad. And as a yay advocate for marijuana, usually overnight I will flip-flop and only because of what I'm about to explain. So here is this plate. Like, I'm all into this type of stuff. You know, like the flower of life, plant, chill, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, that's cool and all. Like this witch stuff, rocks, crystals, you know, just, I even read about oil and companies and everything else, you know. I find it all interesting. I really do. I, I listen to it all. I read it all. I know so much of it, whether it's misinformation or not, I've read it all. <laughs> oh God, everything must be misinformation then. Damn. <laughs> it really makes you wonder. But either way, um, so this convention on biological diversity is really kind of interesting, right? It, it names itself CBD. And um, clearly in the United States here, we've, there's about, what is it, 29 to 30 something states that have um, suddenly legalized marijuana in some type of way. And I find this highly suspicious. And the reason I find this highly suspicious is because I feel like that's how they're covering it all up. They're covering it all up with the use of CBD and marijuana and stuff. And because in all those states, that's ironically also where they're making these seed laws. Where these patents are weird. Where if you try to buy a plant in some states, you can't. You literally, it's not allowed. And then there's some places where you can't even gift seeds or swap seeds or... Like, what is that? If I live in New York, even if I can't plant the shit anywhere, if I want to have a seed bank on my shelf, then I should be allowed. Like, you're tripping. And, and I feel like they're hiding it. Because you know how, like, the algorithm goes and you, like, type stuff in? And clearly, like, every time you type anything about seeds or plants or this or that, only weed ever comes up. Because the weed takes the focus away. The CBD and how to make this and that. Taking the focus away from all the other plants that are slowly just right in front of everybody disappearing, right? And it's been getting really bad, and like, here lately. And they're just sneaking it in. And um, there's some countries that GMO is not allowed. Genetically modified um, organisms or plants. And, um, like, you know, it has... I read somewhere, you know, like if you're an organic farmer, for example, like, you know, you got to be careful that your crop doesn't get contaminated with GMO. And how it was written, it kind of sounded like by accident. And. Or just naturally. Or even naturally. But if you really have it like in a controlled form and you're really like being careful and it suddenly gets contaminated then I don't know man 
Yeah, that would help you growing it in containers. But either way, like people like in China, or like China has laws like they won't have any genetically modified food, I'm pretty sure. Weird is that? You know that? I literally read that you are not allowed to, that's why it's such a bad thing, like if you're growing organic, because if for some reason it were to contam get contaminated with GMO, suddenly, if you have deals with like China or suddenly, or something like that, you, because of these laws, can't do this, right? You can't export them to anymore because it's GMO and that's against their law. Even though that's weird because they're the ones who are, who are making all this, right? I guess. It's weird, man. It seems to have deleted the um, last part of the video um, in which I was going to say um, below in the comments, I'm going to link um, some other documentaries and information and there's like this law site that kind of explains it that's like 30 pages um it explains everything about the um biopiracy a little bit more in detail and it gives examples and stuff so um check those out and uh you guys have a good good night and day thank you for watching i know it was kind of long <laughs>